What's up everybody? Scott Adam Gordon here with Sound Guys and we're at IFA 2017. It's the last day. In just a few hours, they're going to be closing the doors for another year, but not before we've had time to get back inside and have one last look at what we thought were the most exciting products to launch this year. Let's go and check it out. So big boy Sony introduced three new products from its 1000X family this year. These include the WH-1000Xs, which are the over-ear headphones. Then you've got the Apple AirPod style WF-1000Xs, the in-ear headphones. And then finally, you've got the neckband WI-1000Xs. And the best thing about these three is that all of them come with active noise cancellation. And that means you're gonna get this really insulated sound. The thing is, you pay for that in a bit of battery life because these guys are said to come with three hours of music playback time, plus only another six hours if you use the included charge case to charge them up. This noise cancellation is possibly the best I've ever heard. I mean, this is really the place to test it out at IFA 2017. It's loud as hell in here, and these guys are absolutely killing it. I'm in love with this noise cancellation. These are the Biodynamic Aventos, premium on-ear wireless headphones. They're based on the Biodynamic T51 eyes, and man, this is just such a good looking package overall. The look and feel of these guys is really something. And the sound quality is pristine. It's making use of Biodynamic's now famous Tesla driver technology. It's got Bluetooth 4.2 and Qualcomm's Aptix HD codec, which means you're getting the best possible audio transfer over Bluetooth. And the real interesting thing about the Aventos is that they're launching alongside this personalized sound app, which is going to be able to assess your hearing to change the, the color of the sound based on your individual hearing ability. It's really smart software. LG absolutely smashed it out of the park last year when it comes to smartphone audio with the LG V20. This is one of the first devices to introduce a quad DAC audio system. And this year, it's gone one step further with a hi-fi quad DAC system on the LG V30. Let's check it out. So this is a 32-bit hi-fi quad DAC, which offers a bunch of presets so you know you can change the tonality of the sound. That as well as some filters for things like if you want a more natural sound, for example, if you want a more spatial or ambient sound. In addition to this, however, the LG V30 is also one of the few products, not just smartphones, one of the few audio products that supports MQA, meaning you can get that super rich, super high quality sound, but in a much smaller package. If all you're interested in is just the best possible sound experience, you might be interested in something like the Audio-Technica ADX 5000s. These have just been introduced at IFA. They're gonna be probably around $2,000. US pricing hasn't been announced, but they're upwards of 2,000 euros. And they're so special, they've got their, their own little place at the booth. You can't even adjust the volume. It's locked away in a box. They're that special. I mean, I put them on yesterday and nearly fried my eardrums off. Lady had to come and turn it down. Once they were at an actual reasonable send, man, these are beautiful sounding guys. That sparkle, that top end, I'm telling you, it's like a wizard has just crushed the cymbal in his palms and just blown it straight into your brain. Beautiful in the sound stage. It, you could walk around on that sound stage. It's so big. Gotta check them out. What we have here is the second generation FIFA home products. These are audio systems with distinct Nordic stylings. Very, very nice looking products. Don't say that they're sound bars. This isn't a sound bar, the PR guys have told me. It's a sound system. And also don't say they might look nice in Ikea. Sales guys don't like that. So the Stockholm 2.0, this is a really minimal, elegant sound system. You can see that there's not much in the way of buttons on the front of the device, really sleek, but it's not just about how it looks, the sound quality's there. You've got two 28 millimeter tweeters, you've got two 80 millimeter mid-range drivers in there, four 10 centimeter woofers. So this is bringing out this really bright, this warm sound that's, that's definitely impressive. They are expensive, $1,500 for this unit right here, but beautiful, beautiful design. And that's it. Those were our picks for the best audio gear of IFA in 2017. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. There's a notification bell there so you can get the latest updates. Uh, leave us a comment if you like. Say, hey, I thought this sucked. 
Um, and also you can find the rest of the information on our website, that's soundguys.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, cheers.